Hey everyone. So we're going to model Kirby from Kirby's Dreamland video game on the Nintendo Game Boy. He's a nice simple character that should be a good introduction to the basics of 3D modeling. So the first thing we do when I'm going to model a character is I like to get reference. Now reference are images or pictures of the object that you want to model quick and easy way to do that with the computer if you're on the internet is you go to Google and you type in Kirby and you click on images and here you go you get all these great reference pictures of what Kirby looks like you know so we can understand how big his feet are in proportion to his head how big his eyes are in proportion to his mouth the shapes of his little stubby arms and the colors you know, rosy cheeks, light pink body, and then like a like a pinkish red feet. Okay, so it's good to have this up on on your screen to look back at whenever you're trying to uh, model certain parts of his body. Reference really is helpful to get to figure out how big something is, the colors, and how everything comes together. So now that you have your reference, let's go back to Tinkercad. Now, if you don't know Tinkercad, you can go to www.tinkercad.com and you can sign up for a free account. You have to be a, a, over the age of 13. If you're under the age of 13, you can sign up, but you have to have your parents do it for you. Okay, And it's completely free. And what you get is a very simple but powerful modeling program in order to make things that you could actually end up 3D printing with a 3D printer or through a 3D printing service like Shapeways or Sculptio or iMaterialize. So I'm going to take you through the basics of just modeling this character, Kirby. So the first thing you want to do is if you have your own Tinkercad account, and you're all ready to go you start your project and once you do you're going to come up with this blank screen so this is your work plane and your model comes up named it's kind of like a, a reference name that they just throw in there it really doesn't mean anything but it's important that you name your models so that way you know what you're talking about or what you you know what you're looking for and it keeps things organized so we go under design and we're going to go to properties and here you can change the name so here we're going to type in Kirby model and then you hit save changes so now he's named properly okay so next we're going to go over here now this may already be open but if it's not you just click this little arrow and you'll get this uh, panel the 3D objects cube, cylinder, pyramid, sphere what have you alright so Kirby is his body is shaped like a sphere so we're gonna start off with that first so we're gonna come over here and drag that on Okay. Now, if you go to the corner here and put your cursor over the corner, it says it's 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. So that's a little small, so we want that to be bigger. So since he's a very simple character, we're going to make him a bit bigger. So let's go up to 80. There we go. All right. So there, we've got Kirby's body. All right. Now we're going to go over here and change his color. Now this is the inspector and you can do different things that when it's the car when the model is colored it's a solid object when you click on the hole it makes it a negative space and a negative space means you can take this and you can put it into a solid object like another sphere and then when you group them you'll get a new a new object because the sphere will actually cut out that the area that it's occupying out of the other object so you'll see that soon enough so anyway let's go back to 
color. We want a solid object and let's get him colored right. So that's roughly Kirby's color, pink. All right, good. So now that we have his body, we need to make his feet. So in order to make his feet, we're going to have to use some special objects. Okay, so we will tackle that in the next video. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.